Hello, so today I want to take you through some steps to getting your blind dog to wear rec specs. Um, I've previously made a bit of a longer video on this of how me and my dog got on um, on our little journey, but it is quite a long video and I appreciate we don't all have the time in the world to watch this. So I just wanted to make another video with just the quick steps that we took to help you getting your blind dog wearing these. Um, and just also want to just recap why I personally get my blind dog to wear these is just to protect her eyes so she can't see anything but she still does have her eyes um, and if you think about it, if you're on a walk and you've got sort of like a branch that you sort of haven't seen until last minute you'll sort of like close your eyes and then sort of like move your head backwards but a blind dog can't see to know to do that so these are just extra protection just to make sure that her eyes are safe so let's get on to the steps step one is going to be sniffing so you just want to get your dog to start making some its first positive associations with these rec specs so you're just going to get want to get them to sniff it every time they go near or sniff or show an interest you're just going to give them a reward the other thing that i would probably say is a good thing to start with at the beginning as well while you're doing that is just by doing the clipping sound from the back of the rec specs and just giving them a reward for that as well because you don't want to just scare them with the noise behind their head when you first clip it behind them so that's step one step two is then going to be pulling all of these bits and bobs out the way so that your dog can freely put its face into this part here without anything getting in in its way or any of these flappy bits sort of getting in the way and batting them in the face because that might put them off a bit as well so you want to get those out of the way and then you're going to want to lure your dog through this point so that their face just sits on there as soon as their face touches it that's fine good give them a treat happy days so once you've done that keep doing it a few times then you can maybe extend the duration a little bit, see if they can just hold the lure for a couple of seconds and just keep working on that. Step number three, when your dog has done that, you are going to want to pull the straps down. And this little hole here is where your dog is going to put their nose through. So you're gonna to wanna to do the same again. Again, just make sure that any of these bits of strap here are out the way you're going to lure the dog through so they're getting used to the chin strap being underneath them and give them a reward as soon as they've done that take it back off again keep working on that and extend the duration that they're able to do that see if you can hold the lure for a little bit longer step number four then is going to be the same thing again and this time you are going to hold not clip but just hold the straps behind their head so they're starting to feel that, okay, something's coming down the side of my head now and reward them. Again, do that. See if you can extend the duration on it. Once you've done that bit, then step five is going to be to actually clip it behind their head. Now, at this point, when I first did this, I had the clips quite loose just so there wasn't too much sort of pressure sort of, of, of the tightness of the straps being put around her head to start with. Um, so I, I would suggest just loosening them off a little bit to start with. Um, yeah, so once you've done that, then you are going to clip it behind the head and then unclip. Ooh, OK, and then just keep doing that. So as soon as you've clipped it, you're going to reward the dog and then unclip and then take off. And again, work on the duration that you're doing that. Step number six then, so before we do anything else, we're then gonna to wanna to adjust the strap. So you're gonna work on how tight it's gonna be. So we've got the rec specs on, they're clipped behind their head. If you've worked on your duration, you should be able to, well, your dog will be able to sit there for a few seconds and sort of bear, bear with everything around them. So that gives you a few seconds just to tighten a strap up quickly. As soon as you've done that, give them a treat, take it off. Put it on again, tighten another strap, give them a treat, take it off. And just keep doing that until you've got your straps in a fairly nice way. Um, for information on that, you'll get an information leaflet with your rec specs, which sort of tell you how to adjust it. So refer to that. So next up, what you're going to want to do now, you've got the rec specs on. The dog's quite happy sitting there with them on their face for a few seconds. 
um, and they're all nice and tight. You're then going to want to try and get them to do something distracting while they're still wearing them. So for me, I gave Poppy her dinner. So put them on a face, get them to wear them as soon as they're on, give her a reward again, and then dinner, okay? So because she's distracted by her dinner, she's not really focusing too much on what's on her face. And by this point, she's got fairly used to the feel and the way that they are on her face as well. So she'd eat her dinner, happy days, as soon as she's done, give her a reward again, and then take them off her face again. So then I'd want to work on that for a couple of times. Or if they've already had dinner, it could be giving them a licky mat with some peanut butter on it or something, just to give them something to do for a couple of minutes, and then you can take it off again. So you're working on them doing something and also having it on their face for a little bit of a longer time. Then once you've done that, we're going to want to take them into a different environment to work on. So they're going to be wearing these mainly when they're out on walks, I'm guessing. So they're not really going to be worn around the house that much. So getting outside and practicing some of those steps again is going to be really useful. And then what you're going to want to do is get your dog to walk with them on. Now for Poppy, um, my dog, she's not, I'm really a massive fan of sort of walking with things on. Um, you can put a coat on her and she sort of sits there like what is this like she's just not a fan of things sort of on her in general so i just got her to sort of um well i lured her with a treat for a bit as soon as she took one step i was like real reward and then it was a couple of steps and then don't know why for us but all of a sudden like she was off she was just walking next to me so i was like wow this is amazing but for some people it might take a little bit longer with that part so just keep luring and then give them a reward to the point where they can then take a few steps for five or ten seconds on outdoor property um, or a park or something. So they're just getting used to being able to be in the outdoor scenery and just wearing them in the outdoors, basically. So that leads us on to step nine then, which is all about duration. So once they've got used to that bit, you're going to want to extend the period of time that you're doing it for. So I started this on a complete different day, then went out, put them on her, got her to walk with them on for one or two minutes, and then I took them off. Again, make sure that you reward. And then I did the same thing again, maybe for four or five minutes, and then just keep gradually just sort of building that time up so that the dog can get used to it. And then step 10, is going to be walking with the rec specs on. So we are now at the stage where I can put these on before we go out. She will do a whole walk with them on. Um, lots and lots of encouragement and rewards along the way. Um, and then, yeah, by the time we've come home, she's still wearing them. So they are my 10 steps for you guys to work on. Again, I do just wanna highlight please only do this for sort of five to 10 minutes a day um, or sort of maybe five minutes in the morning, five minutes in the afternoon. Don't You don't wanna sort of overwhelm your dog with trying to learn this. And when you're doing training, it takes the dog a lot of energy because they're sort of really trying to sort of work for these rewards and please you. Um, and the other thing that I would say that is also really, really important is that your dog is willing to do all of these things so you're luring them through and the dog is really really happy to do that they're happy to sit with it on their face if the dog gets their paw and then starts trying to pour the specks off them that's absolutely fine it's obviously not comfortable so take them away that's fine dog doesn't get a reward but it doesn't get told that it's naughty or get shouted at either um, and then maybe just go back a step and then just try working on that again and try building it up. So it's just all about making sure that you're giving them lots of rewards, trying to extend the duration of the time that they're doing it. If they're not doing something that you want, that's fine. Just don't reward them, but don't make them sort of endure something that they're not really enjoying either. Um, and yeah, if you follow these steps, I really hope that it all works for you and you'll be on walks with your rec specs in no time. So good luck to you all, let me know how you get on and I look forward to seeing you on my next video.